They made us speak English. Did you know that? We actually have our own language. It's Gaelic. And the Gaelic word for England is full of cunts. In Ireland, a wife beater is every shirt. Jordan Trafford repping England. Fiona O'Brien repping Ireland. Ireland is an island named by a drunk guy that said, Island. <laughs> English and Irish drinking cultures are a little bit different. In England, a pub crawl is when you go to several bars, one after another. In Ireland, a pub crawl is when you bring a baby to the bar. Irish food sucks. <laughs> in Ireland, they don't put ginger in food. They put food in gingers. <laughs> that Halloween actually originated in Ireland. So tomorrow night when you see an adult baby yoga, Yoda, puking onto a scary horse, you will know that they are appropriating Irish culture. <laughs> the 2019 Martin Scorsese movie starring Robert De Niro and called The Irishman was too long. Potatoes killed a lot of alcoholics in Ireland, but alcoholism fought back and recently killed a cranberry. If you don't know the band, the Cranberries, it is okay. It is commonplace for Irish men to both drink and beat their wives. In Ireland, they call this Dublin. <laughs> the rights to the U2 song, The Sweetest Thing, written by Bono, were actually given to his ex-wife. Like most Irish men, his wife took one of his greatest hits. <laughs> there is so much spousal abuse in Ireland, they had a Me Too movement and a You Too movement. <laughs> In Ireland, a wife beater is every shirt. <laughs> Fiona is divorced? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Most people don't know this, but Fiona's full name used to be Fiona O'Brien, stop hitting me. It's actually a pretty common name. <laughs> I don't want to go to Ireland because the reviews are terrible. <laughs> they scored an 85% on Rotten Potatoes. <laughs> okay, I love you, bye. Jordan Trafford, England roasting Ireland. Fiona O'Brien. Ireland, roasting England. Let's hear it, let's make some noise. Thank you. Thank you, now I'm sorry, I have to do this. It, this is hard for me, I have to fit 800 years of oppression into fucking five minutes, okay? <laughs> this, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna start with their biggest, biggest tourist attraction of England, the royal family, right? Prince Philip, they've admitted he's dead. They've admitted he's dead now. That fucker has been dead for about two years. 
It has been like weekend at Bernie's over at the fucking palace. They're just putting a dead corpse in the front of a Range Rover and driving around London. <laughs> Randy Andy, Prince Andrew is in big trouble. Big trouble for allegedly being involved with sex trafficking, right? Allegedly. And the queen was furious when she found out. Do you know how she punished him? This is true. She canceled his 60th birthday party. <laughs> yeah. And she forced him to go to mass with her in Balmoral every Sunday. That is a fact. That is a fact. And who is paying? Who is paying for Randy Andy's court fees, huh? The Queen. Do you know what that means? All the English taxpayers are paying for his case, right? Do you know what that means? The English finally know what it feels like to be fucked by the royal family. Thank you. <laughs> Meghan Markle, huh? One of yours, Meghan Markle. They fucking hate her. They hate her. Harry would have been better off if he had married the head of the IRA's daughter, right? <laughs> they would have been nicer to her. They're racist bastards, okay? <laughs> they made us speak English. Did you know that? We actually have our own language. It's Gaelic. And the Gaelic word for England is full of cunts. <laughs> The English went around colonizing the whole world. At one stage, they colonized one third of the place, right? Went to India, parts of Asia, parts of Africa, Canada, Australia. Holy God, went around colonizing all of it. They weren't very happy when some of those people followed them fucking home. <laughs> Hate the immigrants. They arrived in Ireland. They arrived in Ireland, walked in, and they were like, right, we own this now, and you are under the rule of the queen. We fell off our bar stools laughing. <laughs> we are like, yeah, good fucking luck with that, lads. Yeah, mad bastards, yeah, right. Let's get on to their biggest pastime, football. Oh my God, the English love football. They love their football. Hate their fucking football players, though, right? <laughs> They fucking hate them. The UEFA nearly had to ban the English fans slash hooligans slash thugs from going to the European Cup final in Wembley this year. Did you know that? Because the fans were shouting racist abuse at the players. Not the players on the other team, the fucking English team. <laughs> the English don't even like the fucking English, right? Jesus Christ. Jordan messaged me uh, a couple of weeks ago and he said, you know, we're going to be doing this battle. And he said, I just want to let you know my great grandparents are from England. And I said, I just want to let you know I don't give a fucking shit. <laughs> then Jordan shared with me that he's bisexual. I said, you don't have to tell me that, Jordan. You're a fucking greedy English prick. Of course you want a piece of everything you see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Two more things. Do you know that to get Canadian citizenship, I don't know if anyone has gone for Canadian citizenship here, you have, to, um, you have to swear on the queen's head. Do you know that? Well, as soon as they bring me it, I'll fucking swear on it, right? <laughs> it shouldn't be too long now, lads. It won't be too long now. She's not well. She's not well. But um, <laughs> I'll, finish, I'll finish with this. Uh, Prince Charles will never be king of England. The queen will never let Prince Charles be king of England, right? There's no way. Because, and I don't know if any of you know this, but I want you to Google it when you go home. She will not let him be king of England because of tampon gate. 
Tam, right? You Google this when you go home, tampon gate. There was recorded phone calls between Charles when he was married to Diana, between Charles and Camilla, and Charles telling Camilla he wanted to be her tampon. Right? So I am telling you, there is no way the Queen is going to let a tampon rule England. Because as we all know, the English rulers like to have blood on their fucking hands. Fiona O'Brien. Yes. Get over here, guys. Get over here. Woo. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. Make some noise if you liked England. <laughs> Make some noise if you liked Ireland. Oh, yes! Woo! Victory! Victory! Independence! Achieved, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 